Libras, welcome back to my channel. It is my lunch hour. This is your love reading. All these L's and hopefully you're not taking any. If you're familiar with my channel and already subscribed, thank you so much and welcome back. Um, you know how this goes. We start with singles here in the back and with couples here in the front and we go through it. The overall energy, whether you are attached, single, um, or locked completely in is the seven of cups Pisces cancer Scorpio energy here This is all about illusion and having many options Libra Do you have many options to choose from and that is what has your scales tipping going back and forth or is the illusion at play? <clears throat> is it you being manipulative or this other person or are you just worried about being played? So Libra's for your singles read, we're just going to jump right into it. We have your energy here with the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. This is all about walking away from a situation, leaving something behind <clears throat> with no communication. So this is black communication. Maybe you stop speaking to someone, but this is not necessarily the card of ghosty and leaving something behind. This is leaving the door open for one last conversation. The Seven of Swords to me is the ghosting card, but this is walking away. <clears throat> You're not speaking to somebody, Libras. Ooh, and maybe you're dealing with the Sagittarius here with this temperance card. Um, fire sign energy with this. This is all about being patient. Maybe you're maybe you're single right now and you're being patient about having all these options and not choosing anything right now. Libras, do you have many? Libras, let me know down in the comments if that is the case right now, that you have many options to choose from and you're being very patient before you make any decisions. I can see that right here. More fire sign energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Eight of Wands. Okay, this is the card of movement, moving forward. But with this being in reverse, this is stagnant activity. And we have the six of so these being similar with boats being in the water. The six being the number of imbalance or recognizing that there is imbalance, balance needing to be restored. Excuse me. And then we have the Eight of Wands. Eight being a number of balance being restored. Wands being that of fire sign energy and passion. So this is you being being passionate, but not making any moves, not making any decisions here. Again, with tying these in together, being patient before you make a decision. Gemini and energy here, air sign energy with this major arcana with the lovers in reverse. So people are feel, maybe feeling Libra like you are their soulmate, but you're not making any major decisions. You're not trying to be locked down and you're not trying to lock anybody down. Libras is what I'm getting. All these options, you don't want to choose. You don't want to choose Libras. Okay. We have the five, the six and the five here with the hair font energy. Taurus energy here. You could have been dealing with a Taurus in the past. Or maybe this is you going to a courthouse and getting a divorce. Maybe some of you are recently divorced and single. Um, for some of you Libras. This is the card of a married woman to me. Or a commitment being broken. Or maybe you were just in a serious commitment. Dating someone for a long time. And then this things fell through. Maybe because... Um, of, excuse me, excuse me, I was trying not to cough on camera, maybe because of lack of communication or somebody's lack of, or somebody's inability to make decisions here, but somebody is not making any commitments here. And again, with the, the five and the six being next to each other, single Libras, you're not, you're not trying to be locked down. You're going to stay single, being very patient about making any decisions with all these people that you're dealing with. And with this Empress energy, major arcana here, this is you... Standing in your power, Taurus, Libra energy. This may be you feeling a little, this to me, being Taurus and Libra energy for a Libra reading in reverse. Maybe you're not feeling very confident right now and maybe that's why you're being very patient. Maybe you're waiting to be more confident and then you're going to make a decision on which way you want to go because you don't want to make a decision when you're feeling down. Are you going to pick the right one if you're doing that? That could be the reason why you're at a standstill about a decision while being single. And then also wanting to be patient and make the right decision. Ten of Wands. Let me know if you were dealing with a fire sign in the past or if a fire sign has your eye right now. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You are closing out a cycle here. And again, with this being underneath this Sagittarius, this temperance card, being very patient, you're closing out a cycle with someone. So for this to me, Libras, is a lot of you are recently single or getting ready to walk away from a situation. And let me know if it is with a fire sign person. I am dying to know if Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So we have the Sagittarius, and then we have the strength here. So Leo energy here in the building. Let You have to let me know, Libras, if you are dealing with the fire sign down in the comments. Please do that. You're going to have the strength to walk away and continue to not make a decision here. People are going to be trying to lock you down, Libra. They want to pour into you. You have all these options. They see you as very attractive. They can't keep their hands off of, off of you, and maybe you can't, can't keep your hands off of others, Libra, okay? 
with you being very great communicators and knowing how to talk the talk and walk the walk, people are very attracted to you, but you're going to hold strong to these boundaries, these new boundaries that you have, Libras. That's what I'm getting. Being very patient and setting boundaries so that you make good decisions in love. Scorpio energy here with the death card in reverse. So one door is closing, so new doors can open for you. But you, again, you're you're okay with being single here. So this is not a door of opening to a new relationship, Libras. This is you just celebrating being single and just mingling right now, dating, being out there, being seen. With this, this is this is also kind of just coming out of your cocoon. So maybe with this lack of confidence here with this empress in, in reverse, after this time of maybe being single, closing out this cycle, enjoying being single, you come out of this cocoon successful, feeling more beautiful, more handsome for the, for the male Libras out there. But this is you becoming that butterfly, that ugly duckling coming into this one. This is you leveling up here is what I'm getting. And with it being underneath this love, lover's card, the six and the 13, Okay, this is you majorly leveling up. People cannot keep their eyes and hands off of you, Libra. And that energy is vice versa. You are very attractive right now. And people can see the glow up, okay? And then we have the King of Cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. This is, people want to lock you down. And again, this is underneath that hair font in reverse. You're rejecting any any serious offers of love right now because you're just focusing on yourself, investing in yourself, and you're enjoying being single and mingling right now. So you're sitting back, and while these cups of love are coming into you, we have the Seven of Cups Energy as the overall. So you have many options to choose from. You're just sitting back because you know you have all these options. So why are you in a rush to make a decision? Libras, last card of the read, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy, this is you closing out a cycle, we have two tens here, Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, you are closing out a cycle because you're focused on abundance right now is what, what I'm getting, you're sitting back on your throne and you're not making any decisions, you're enjoying entertaining these people, dating these people or whatever it is that you're doing, being free. I feel like Libras, you're very much focused on your money or your career right now with this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That's your focus. And maybe that's why you had to cut somebody off because you were just, again, focused on your money, focusing on you, and just trying to balance things out. We have a six here, so balance being be restored. You're trying to balance those scales out right now, Libra, is what I'm getting. Good news here on the horizon. You're very attractive, but and you're focused on being single here. So, Libras, if this resonated for you at all, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below if this resonated for you. If you would like a personal reading from me, find me on my Instagram. That is the only way to reach out to me for a reading or, excuse me, my um, email that is down below or in my about section. I am at down the number two earth tarot on Instagram. And please hang out for the couples reading. Cup, Libra couples. If you are just tuning in, the overall energy is the Seven of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is all about illusion and or having many options to choose from, many avenues. Maybe somebody has many cups of love that they have out there in the background. At the bottom of the deck for couples... Um, or attached Libras, we have the sun. So Leo energy here, fire sign energy. We just had that Aries, the moon moving into Aries, but this is happy ending, brand new beginnings. The grass is greener on the other side. Positive, whether this is right side up or in reverse. Positive endings here. Libras, you have the queen of water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is someone who is very intuitive, loving, but some somebody's feeling vulnerable here. And looking at these two images, this is tied into it. Into, into something. So maybe if you're feeling vulnerable here or like your spider sense is tingling, whatever's going on in this situation, know before we even get into all of this and this illusion and having many options, everything is going to be okay. Let's start there. So using your intuition, being vulnerable in a situation, feeling things out, being very caring and loving, Libra. And then we have the Seven of Cups, doubling up on the overall energy here with the Seven of Cups for Libras in general. Somebody has many options here or is worried about illusion. Excuse this call coming in, because um, I'm on fucking lunch. <laughs> um, Libras, Seven of Cups. So this having many options to choose from, illusions, but somebody's got their eye on someone. And maybe this is things going on in the background. This could be a situation where somebody's being a little bit manipulative and shady. Okay, and this ties into this, okay, using your intuition, interesting. So Libras, we have the Three of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. In the singles read, we have lots of fire side energy, so please check that out. But with this card to me, this card to me in this situation, maybe you having some sixth sense or some concerns about a third party situation, okay, whether or not somebody is talking to or 
entertaining someone else behind your back. Because again, with all this nudity between this Queen of Cups card, this Seven of Cups with this woman being exposed, and again, this woman being exposed, somebody here is being vulnerable and they've completely let their guard down, but somebody is not um, letting down their guard. Somebody is still covered up. They're not fully revealing something. And with this being a three, that makes me feel like third party and also with it being in reverse. So maybe somebody's concerned about a third party or they know that there's a third party situation because they've confirmed it. Maybe they know somebody has a, de a major decision to make in love, in this dis in a, about relationships with this Two of Pentacles energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone weighing a major decision. This could be you. Um, this could be your other person. This could be someone juggling two serious relationships. Maybe this person has a relationship with the mother or father of their child. Maybe they were um, married or going through a divorce. Uh-oh, must have a showing call. Excuse me, I don't have time for that. Um... But somebody has a, a decision to make here, a major decision. You have a two and a three. So someone, so there's some conflict here. That's a five. Five is a number of conflict. Interesting. And then the moon, Pisces energy, secrets here, Libra. There's secrets going on here in the background. And maybe it has to do with this third party energy. Maybe you feel this intuitively. Again, more water sign energy. This queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's secrets here. And you know that. You can... Libra, you feel that. In your gut, you feel like something's going on with this person in the background. But maybe this person is entertaining someone else. Hermit energy here, Virgo energy with this Hermit card, Major Arcana. This is you taking some time out with this being universe. Maybe this you had to take some time out because you found out about this third party situation or you're getting a feeling about a third party situation here with everything that we're seeing. Your gut is telling you that this person may have a lot of things going on in the background or cross watchers, this energy is vice versa. Maybe your Libra has a lot of options to choose from and you know that and you're checking in on them. And maybe this is you taking some time away to watch, see what they're doing and also take some time out to do some... Um, self-healing, healing yourself after the situation because it's definitely very emotional with this fire and water energy. And somebody was being a player here, okay, with this Knight of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is someone being in and out, maybe again, and this is right underneath that Seven of Cups. Somebody was in and out, maybe even doing a little bit of breadcrumbing here um, because they had many options or they felt like many options or they were treating you like an option, Libra and or a cross watcher, but somebody was playing games and you, you're tired of it. You felt that intuitively and maybe that's what made you take this breakout with that hermit Virgo energy. Oh yeah, somebody was being big and bold out in these streets with this deception here. Because we have this three and the six doubling up on that. Third party energy, six of wands. This is Leo, this is the card, this is Leo energy to me. But this is the card of being um, celebrated, victorious. But this is a card of somebody being very bold and doing something out in public. And again, with this third party, maybe you know this person or you're familiar with them. Or maybe this is somebody that's very close to you. Maybe they were that bold in their actions. Interesting. Doubling up on that decision making is the Two of Cups underneath that Two of Pentacles. So somebody here is dying for a decision to be made here. Maybe they've been reaching out for affection or communication or information on this and somebody's been holding or feeling and they've been feeling like someone's been holding them back. That's what I'm getting from this image. There's a decision that needs to be made here. There's a major imbalance. We can see that you are going to make a decision and whatever it is that you choose to do, Libras, it's going to be okay. Positive outcome, no matter which way this goes. Balance is going to be restored. That is reaffirmed underneath that with the Eight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So when it is good, it is super good. And again, this is you getting towards the end of a cycle and being a little bit guarded, protecting your energy with this. But with this Two of Cups, there's a decision, a major decision that needs to be made here in love know that Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and you are going to make a major decision and move on and start a brand new journey here. So doubling up on this 19, the sun card, it was right side up, excuse me, the sun card, having a positive outcome no matter which way it goes, and this full card energy starting a brand new journey, honey, it's going to be okay. But I feel like some of you are going to cut this person out because you're, you're just tired, you're exhausted of this back and forth with this person. And something's going to be revealed here. So at the bottom of the Oracle deck, we have the, the Scorpio energy, the tower. So there's going to be a revelation maybe about this third party that you get Libras. And you're going to make a decision. And whether you choose to go or fly away with this air sign energy here, what I'm getting with these wings, you just might release yourself from this situation and this energy. Restore this balance here. And when it's good, it's good somewhere else. The grass is greener on the other side in this situation. Attached Libras, let me know if any of this resonated for you down in the comments below. Please like, comment, and subscribe for my daily tarot uploads. I'll be uploading some more videos tomorrow, and I'll be checking in with you soon. I cannot wait to um, 
excuse me, I can't wait to check in with you next week. Libras, keep it real.